this month is December. We're going to start right here. So, let us, 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 us just begin. Sitting between November and January, December is the 12th and final month of the Gregorian calendar. December on the whole is almost completely overwhelmed by different holiday customs and traditions, with little else being focused on during this period. We have left to focus on anything else tends to be used up by complaining about the weather. For those in the northern hemisphere, winter has finally arrived, so prepare yourself for gloomy days spent inside, huddled by the heater. It's not all bad, though. It's a fantastic time to catch up on all those books you've been planning to read. December is unsurprisingly quite different for those who live in the southern hemisphere. Summer has well and truly begun by this point, and it's just going to get hotter and hotter. December in the southern hemisphere can be scorchingly hot, so it's always a good idea to stay hydrated and enjoy the cool of the evening, rather than venturing out during the day. There are positives to December has plenty to show for itself. Let's take a look at the origins of December, the traditions we celebrate during it, as well as some interesting little facts to bring it all together. Yeah, I feel like if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's probably weird to hear that it's cold in December. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's weird to hear that it's cold in December. Wait, no. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's weird. I'm gonna start over. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's weird to hear that in the Northern Hemisphere it's cold for people because it's summer for you. And then flip that around for the Northern Hemisphere because we're not going through that whole thing again. I'm already sabotaging everything. Let's just begin with a fact. Number one, December was one of the original months in the ancient Roman calendar, which was in use from around 750 BC until 45 BC. In this original Roman calendar, December was actually the 10th month. This placement actually makes a lot more sense for December, as this month's name translates into tenth month. When Julius Caesar changed the calendar 45 BC to the Julian calendar, he added two months, January and February, which were inserted at the beginning of the calendar year. These changes have forever cursed December to be a month with the wrong name. Pretty, pretty straightforward fact there, I would say. Well, only because it's telling you that December means 10th month. If you care about why Julius Caesar changed the months, then that fact is not very helpful. <laughs> Let us continue. Fact number two. On December 5th, 1901, a little magic came into the world along with the birth of Walt Disney. Disney released his first cartoon featuring Mickey Mouse called Steamboat Willie at the age of 27. By the time he was 54, the Disney empire grew in size with the construction of Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Today, Disney is a common word in households around the world thanks to the endless number of books, cartoons, films, and other forms of entertainment. By the Walt Disney Company. Yeah, Disney is super popular. Disney has bought a lot of companies. Disney recently bought, well, it's been a few years now, hasn't it? They bought Fox, and now they have an even larger library of content. Yeah, fun fact, did you know that Disney also, uh, ESPN. 
was changed for the Julian calendar, December came today, making it the seventh and last month in the year with thirty-one days. Thirty-one days last December. Yes, it does. Fact number four. On December eighth, nineteen ninety-one, the wheels and the cogs of the USSR, which stands for the Union of Soviet. Socialist Republics, commonly known as the Soviet Union, came to a screeching halt as the USSR was dissolved. So, December 8, 1991, the USSR was dissolved. Fact number five. The Anglo-Saxons originally had their own names for the month of December. One of these names was Winter Monath, which quite obviously translates into winter month and requires no real explanation. <laughs> yeah, that checks out. Fact number six. Oh, of course it checks out. If Northern Hemisphere and all that jazz relates back to the earlier fact, you get it. I believe your comprehension skills are good enough. Probably even advanced. I don't know. But you let me know. Are you dumb or not? Are you dumb or not? How's your critical thinking? Good? Bad? Uh, where were we? Fact number six. December 10, 1896 saw the death of the Nobel Prize's namesake, Alfred Nobel. In Nobel's will, he declared that his accumulated wealth be used to give awards to members of society who show great achievement in the advancement of humanity. Some of the most famous Nobel Prize recipients include Albert Einstein, Marie Curie, Martin Luther King Jr., and Mother. The Nobel Prize. I wonder if any of you are going to do anything that you in the running to win a Nobel Prize. Man, if you win a Nobel Prize and you're listening to this and when you win it, come back to this video and say, hey, I won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Fact number seven. A second name that the Anglo-Saxons had for December was Yule Monev, which relates to the custom of this month as a part of the pagan Yule celebrations. While many of the Yule practices have been lost over time, some of them, such as burning a Yule log, are still celebrated in various parts of the world today. Yule logs being burned all over the place. I don't know what Yule is. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. Yule is a festival historically observed by the Germanic peoples. Scholars have connected the original celebrations of Yule to the wild hunt, the god Odin, and the pagan Anglo-Saxon Modronite. Later departing from its pagan roots, Yule underwent Christianized reformulation resulting in the term Christmas time. Wow. Some present day Christmas customs and traditions such as the Yule log. This is what I'm more interested in. The Yule log or Yule clog or Christmas block is a specially selected log burnt on a hearth as a Christmas tradition in regions of Europe, particularly the United Kingdom and subsequently North America. Wow. The origin of the folk custom is unclear. Like other traditions, traditions associated with Yule, the custom may ultimately derive from, yeah, Germanic paganism. Okay. Well, looks like that's all we're gonna get for the old Yule log there, buddy. Interesting. If you didn't know anything about that, like me, now you know. Fact number eight. A new name for 
December came into being after many Anglo-Saxons were converted to Christianity. In line with their newfound beliefs, they called December Heli Monath, which translates into Holy Month. Okay, cool. Fact number nine. The Bill of Rights came into effect on December 15, 1791. The Bill of Rights included the first ten amendments to the U.S. Constitution, rights which are said to be the pillars of modern U.S. society and government. Okay, Constitution is supposed to be a living, breathing document, which makes sense that there are amendments, right? Fact number ten. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, then winter begins on either December 1st, if you follow the meteor meteor wow meteorological seasons <laughs> I'm leaving that in to sabotage or after the winter solstice on the 20th or 21st of December if you follow the astronomical seasons if you live in the southern hemisphere this is the opposite of course with summer commencing at either the beginning of the month or after the summer solstice Yep, yep, yep. Everything is opposite day in the Southern Hemisphere. Fact number 11. Unfortunately, the humorous sounding Battle of the Bulge commenced on December 16, 1944. The Battle of the Bulge saw a last ditch counteroffensive by German forces in the Ardennes Forest to the southeast. were defeated, the number of casualties was astronomically high, with 130 German and 77, 130,000 German <laughs> and 77 Allied casualties. Imagine if I didn't catch that mistake I was making. I was like, the numbers are astronomically high at 130 and 77. <laughs> Come on, that's not that high. I can count. Thank you very much. Fact number 12. The full moon in December has been traditionally referred to as the full cold moon by a number of different Native American tribes. Unsurprisingly, it is named this way because the cold winter months follow it. Yeah, makes sense because the Native American tribes are in the northern hemisphere. That checks out. That checks out. Fact number 13. December 28th has been considered to be the unluckiest day of the year for thousands of years. Okay. The origins of this superstition lie in the story of Christ, as it was reported on this day that the reigning King Herod ordered all baby boys to be put to death in an attempt to kill Jesus Christ. Upon so relatively recently, it was considered unlucky to start work, set sail on new ventures, or generally do anything on this day. Well, December 28th, the most unlucky day of all time, until it wasn't. According to that fact, fact number 14, those born in December are lucky enough to have two different birth flowers. The first one of those flowers is holly, ever present during the holiday season. See, holly in the holiday season. In more recent times, the red holly berries have been said to represent the bloody wounds of Jesus Christ as he was nailed to the cross. If you look further back in time, The second birth flower of December is the paper white, Narcissus, a cousin of the common daffodil that flowers in winter. This pure looking flower is said to symbolize sweetness. Sweetness, sweetness, sweetness. That flower is full of sugar. <sighs> Bad joke. December 21st was a rather painless
dollars a day in Britain, at least for one man. For the first time in Britain, anesthesia was used on a patient by Robert Liston at the University College Hospital in London in 1846. Hey, shout out anesthesia, man. That, uh, that changed the surgery game. Fact number 16. Those born in December can be born under one of two very different star signs. If you're born before December 23rd, then you have the sign of Sagittarius. Those born December 23rd or later have the sign of a Capricorn. If you're a Sagittarius, you're said to be energetic and idealistic also generous and open-minded. If you're born under the sign of Capricorn, then you're said to be ambitious yet realistic, persistent yet practical. Again, I know nothing about these things, so take that as you will. Well, you take all these facts as you will because I don't know anything about anything. Fine, Clarice, fine. Fact number 17. There are many different important religious holidays throughout December. People from different religions celebrate different traditions with, Chris with Christians celebrating Christmas and Jews celebrating Hanukkah. I know that there's a way to pronounce it if you're actually Jewish, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I don't know if I know how to do the, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but the, the thing with the throat or the, anyway, if it was like British and I had to say water or something, I would say water, but it's not water, is it? It's not, it's not water at all. Very bad accent. <laughs> oh, getting some unsubscribes from any of my um, British people who are listening are like, oh my goodness, embarrassing, unsubscribe, and dislike at the same time. I'm going to plug in an extra mouse. Wait, my mouse, my, my mouse, my computer can't support that. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try. I sabotage my own joke, and I'm here. I'm still going. Sometimes you got to know when to stop. TMD, come on, come on. MD, just relax. Okay. Let's continue. This fact. Christmas. I'm just going to start the fact over. <laughs> I'm going off the rails. Fact number 17. There are many different important religious holidays throughout December. People from different religions celebrate different traditions with Christians celebrating Christmas and Jews celebrating Hanukkah. Christmas is celebrated on Christmas Eve on the 24th. Christmas Day on December 25th, which celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ. Hanukkah is celebrated on the 25th day of Kislev in the Hebrew calendar. In the commonly recognized Gregorian calendar, this usually lies between late November and late December, and it celebrates the rise of Jews against their Greek slash Syrian oppressors, as well as the rededication of the Second Temple. Jerusalem in the 2nd century AD. Hey, you know what you celebrate, so happy whatever you celebrate. Fact number 18. On December 30, 1803, the United States of America essentially doubled in size when it formally took control of Louisiana. The, the, the U.S. acquired the territory of Louisiana some 885,000 square miles from France to the Louisiana Purchase, costing the U.S. government $15 million. A truck just pulled up. Hold on, hold on for a second, hold on. Hey, guys, hold on. Okay, I think we should be okay now. Fact number 19. There are many other holidays spread throughout December. Some of them are religious holidays, and some are a little less serious. December 6th is St. Nicholas's Day, which some may know as the original Santa Claus. 
December 8th celebrates National Brownie Day in the United States, while December 15th is National Cupcake Day again in the U.S. December 21st is the winter solstice, which marks the longest night of the year and is astronomically the beginning of winter. Astronomically. Yes. I, I was going back to that because I was like, wait a minute, did I read the right astronomically and then looked? And yes, it's astronomically. Again, I think I hear the truck again. Can you guys hear that? Can you hear the truck? Oh, at least it's at the end of the video where it's not too bad. Well, middle to end. Why are you beeping so much, truck? Golly, just relax, just relax. I'm going to have to delete some of this. I can't just have you all just listening to me trying to talk over this beeping. Come on, that's just not, that's not it. It's still beeping. Fact number 20 and the last fact for this video. The U.S. has a number of Christmas-related month-long observances, with the most important being National Eggnog Month, National Fruitcake Month, and National Impaired Driving Prevention Month. I'd say the National Impaired Driving Prevention Month is probably the biggest one of these, you know? <laughs> Let's see what uh, the author of this list says at the end. When one thinks of December, our first thoughts will always go towards holidays, and boy, there are some great ones. With schools closing for winter break, it's a great time to go on a family holiday. It's a time to relax and catch up on rest, and either head to the beach or building a snowman, depending on where you live. December is also a great time to reflect on the year with many people around the world making New Year's resolutions on changes they want to make in the following year. Yeah, that is true. The New Year comes right after December, doesn't it? <laughs> well, thank you all so much for watching and or listening to this video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet and you're still at the end of the video, feel free to subscribe, like, all that jazz. It really helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, 